Tom Solo from the ZDNet Mobile Gadgeteer. I've uh, got some exciting news here in regards to S60 platform and in particular the Slingbox Sling Player Mobile for S60. Uh, I've been beta testing this for a few weeks and now the, the full public version is available. Um, I've had a Slingbox, uh, Slingbox Classic they call it now for a couple of years. I still use it quite a bit, especially when I'm on the road. And I, these are my two favorite uh, S60 devices uh, as part of the N-Series Blogger Relations Program. I've got the N93 and the N95. And I'm going to start off by showing uh, the Sling Player on the N95. So let me go ahead and uh, unlock the keypad. Let's see, I have it under Media. And there's Sling Player. And I'm going to be connecting, uh, there's the main interface, options here. As you can see, there's options for starting, switch to full screen, which I'll show in a minute, sling box directory in case you have more than one sling box. Uh, the settings page, we can go through and set your access point, audio settings, your channel, quality, uh, connection error, privacy statement, that kind of thing. Uh, there's also a player mode for normal or audio only. In case you're in a, uh, maybe you're on your edge connection and you just want to listen to a show, like maybe the news or something and don't need to see it, uh, it actually plays very well with audio only. I'm going to go ahead and say start, and it's locating my Wi-Fi connection in my home. I only have edge with T-Mobile, so uh, the video is not that great a quality, so I'm going to use Wi-Fi here in the house. Uh, as you can see, it's starting using my local Wi-Fi connection. And there we go, I just started actually, uh, let me just turn it down just a little bit. Well, I guess that's the lowest. I just started Chronicles of Narnia High Definition on my uh, On Demand with Comcast, so that's what you're seeing here. And as you can see, if I go ahead and switch to full screen, it throws it into uh, a landscape mode. And as you can see, the playback is actually quite nice on the N95 takes up most of the full screen. Uh, this is the minimum audio. I can crank it and with the stereo speakers on the N95 it actually sounds very 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 good. There's the video quality. I'm going to go ahead and turn the sound off for a second just so it doesn't take away from the video and just kind of run through uh, some of the other options uh, now that we have the video going. There's volume control right here is, is one of the menus up or down favorites which uh, you can set up and actually if you go to the favorites I have none set up right now if I uh, click and hold on one of the buttons to set your favorites and if we do that it sets a favorite and there it is favorites now with your favorites what you can do you click on it you can select channels with logos so a bunch of different channels with logos that they have you can do a custom channel which is uh, your own channel and, re and name it and also remote functions such as volume up, volume down, mute, channel up, that kind of thing. You can set that as a favorite so it's quick access rather than having to go through all the menus. That would appear right down here in the bottom of the favorites and allow you to quickly uh, control your volume and everything else. I'll go ahead and uh, hide my favorites and look at some of these other ones. There's video input, sling box directory again, edit your favorites, the player mode like we talked about, the display mode, normal or letterboxed um, about and help and that's about it um, so that is let me just turn the sound up I'll turn it up a little bit more above even. all there should be no very fluid of the professor very fluid playback on the uh, N95 so let's take a quick look let's go ahead and go uh, stop and exit out of there and let's go on to the N93. Now the nice thing about the N93 that I wanted to try it out on was because of the way that you could put it into this mode and it would be perfect for you know in the hotel room um, or you know someplace where you didn't want to hold the N95 or an N-series device you can just set it down like this. Uh, one thing I'd like to mention that I've got to have to try on my next trip, actually I'll be going to, to DC in a couple weeks, is to try the TV out functionality on N95 and N93 to then take my sling content 
and TV it out onto a TV in the hotel, which I think would be really cool because I DVR lots of programs and especially with the new season starting, uh, my shows like The Office and things like that that I may miss in the hotel, I can actually use my sling, connect with TV out, and there you go. I've got a sling box on the go in the hotel. So here we go. Again, we're starting Wi-Fi on the N93 to connect. Uh, that's funny. It's upside down for some reason. It wasn't that way last time I played it, so let me go back to flipping it open. There we go. It's interesting. It started upside down. So again, there's the video. If I push this button here, I get all the same options that I had before. Oh, I didn't show the remote control. If you click the remote control... Uh, actually, let me... Let me just uh, close the remote. Well, I'll be darned. There, that actually works on this one. I'll go back to the show. And play it. I'm going to try something here because I didn't, I wasn't able to access my Comcast menu before. I wonder if the screen resolution. Let me go ahead and. Uh, Turn the volume to mute while I look through this. So you wrote remote control, you can click on your remote control and go through uh, you know volume up and down, navigation, cursor left, right, menu. Now let me see the program guide. Last time I did this on the N95, nothing appeared, and I wonder if the resolution of the screen has something to do with that. Let's see. Uh, I'm playing the movie right now, so let me let me stop the movie. And let me go to my program guide to see if this works. And actually it oh it was there for a second. Let's try that again. Program guide. Well, it appeared for a second on uh, on the N93, whereas on the N95 it didn't appear at all. So that's something I'll have to look into on uh, on the devices. You don't really get to see the program guide, which uh, doesn't allow you to uh, control it very well. But you can still use the remote and channel up and down, or set your favorites, which is what I'm going to do. Is just set my favorites to my. I've got about five or six favorite channels, and I'll set it to that. So there you go, Sling Player Mobile for S60 on the N95 and the Nokia N93.